Hey, here's a new one for my JMesh Tools add-on that I'm testing at the moment with Blender 3. It works pretty good and we also have some new features. The first one is Solidify. Let's use this simple mesh that is extruded from a plane and then I open the Solidify overlay and we can directly set the thickness in the viewport. Just drag the new text box or directly enter the value. You see even thickness and fill is set automatically in the modifier because I think you will check these in most cases. So at the moment it is just a shortcut but I will extend it and add more features. When you close it you see the modifier is still active. Then you can open it again and apply the modifier if you like. Then you can go to edit mode and see the resulting mesh. Okay, the next one is an extension for primitives. I added a better support for rotating the primitives. So first I add a simple rectangle by pressing Ctrl left click. I draw it onto the mesh and then I can press the R key and move the mouse up and down to rotate the primitive. The angle is displayed and when you hold the shift key down you can limit the rotation angle to 5 degree steps. And of course after that you can use the shape actions like adding a mirror. I add this now for the X axis. And then you can again rotate it and the mirrored primitive is rotated as well. Then I select this action for the operation and set it to difference and control left click to cut into the mesh. Ok, nice, now let's add a bevel to make the edges look more crisp. And as you know, the bevel can be added by using a JMesh overlay. Ok, let me show you another example for the rotation. This time I'm using an array. Again, I draw a rectangle onto the mesh. Then I add a vertical primitive array with a negative distance and I increase the count. That looks good, then I decrease the distance a bit. Then I press the R key to rotate again and you see the whole array is affected. Then I press shift to limit the rotation to 90 degrees. Ctrl left click the green arrow of the gizmo to center it. And then I can open the array again and adjust the distance. Ok, pretty good. The operation is already set to slice. So I can Ctrl left click and slice in these shapes. And if you like you can add a different material for these parts, for example this one. Ok, the next one looks like a very small change, but actually it brings many benefits. All the primitives, also the polyline have a pivot, a center now. So go ahead, Ctrl left click to draw a polyline onto the mesh. Then Ctrl left click again to finish and a median center is calculated and the gizmo placed at this point. Why is it so important? Well, because now you can add a mirror for example and then also rotate the polyline. Of course you can also move it and the same can be done for arrays. Alright, now I extrude this primitive and then I set the operation type to create and press Ctrl left click to execute. With the mesh selected, let's try to union this with the target. And this is one object now and the bevel modifier is still active. Ok, the last one is an improvement for mesh to primitive, so that the mesh is removed after we converted it to a primitive. Let's start by drawing a rectangle onto the target and then I press Alt and M to turn it into a mesh. The result is a plane, I press escape to get rid of the primitive. Then I select these two vertices of the mesh. Add a bevel by pressing Ctrl, Shift and B. And then I press Alt and M again and the mesh is removed but converted into a primitive. Now we can rotate it, move it, add a mirror or a rays and use it like any other primitive. The target is still set, so we can directly execute any kind of operation. We can extrude the primitive and then for instance set the operation to slice and cut a shape into the mesh. So with this feature you can convert any kind of polygon 
into a primitive. The next features that I'm planning is sizing the primitives, and then I want to add an asset library that you can use in the asset browser. As you know, the add-on is for free, but you can also get it from the Blender market, so you get special support, support the Blender Dev Fund, and of course, the development of my add-ons and my channel. The link is added to the description below, also to the Gumroad page, where you can get the add-on as well. I hope you liked the video guys, if you do then don't forget to subscribe to my channel to JNM, support me by being my patron or join as a channel member on YouTube, and you get nice perks or access to my code repository. Also follow me on Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next one.